Okay, so next up we're going to be adding uh, the initial IKs to the legs, which will give us the um, movement functions for the well, when we add the uh, reverse lock joints, which we've gone over in class before. <coughs> but this is obviously just a refresher. Pardon me. So uh, I'll just go back over the two different types of IKs we have. Um, by, by default the IK handle is set to single chain and what a single chain is is if we add this to our little demonstration piece here we have this guy and it's a workable IK bends again. it's a workable IK that bends nicely but he will only it'll only bend in this orientation we can't do any rotations to the knee or the elbow. The other IK is a rotation rotate plane solver and if we add this to this here what we get is a, uh, a similar setup but we have this big circle here with this white arrow and this is basically telling us that we've got a rotate plane solver attached and what a rotating plate solver is is a standard IK so we've still got the same motion but it has the attributes of having a rotation ability attached to it um, and what we what we use that for is uh, a pole vector which is a, a way we can control the direction of a knee or an elbow or in a very quick setup things like eyes and um, what I've done here is I've just got a very simple nerve circle as a controller and with that selected and then I shift select the IK handle down here and I go to constrain and the pole vector we are now connected our IK handle through our rotation plane to our controller so now when I click this I can translate this and then we have a lot more control so we can then bend and move this IK handle, this, this whatever this might be, and that gives a lot more uh, movement. 